pledge to support and advocate for their radical agenda. But that's really fitting given Ova's long career of pursuing an extreme and divisive agenda. As chairman of the State Board of Education, Ovid supported efforts to teach creationism in public schools. As a U.S. Senate candidate in 2010, he even supported a constitutional amendment that would ban abortion in all cases, even for victims of rape and incest. This year, he told the rally that he would work aggressively to repeal marriage equality if he is elected governor. And just a few weeks ago, Ovid said that New Hampshire should repeal an 1877 amendment to our Constitution that ensures the separation of church and state. Now Ovid is trying to say that we shouldn't discuss his positions on these issues during the gubernatorial election. He's trying to claim they don't matter. Well, they do matter to voters across New Hampshire. And in the last 24 hours, Ovid has denied any knowledge of the Cornerstone document, twice, twice. In the first debate of the general election held yesterday, Ovid LaMontagne said that he did not sign this pledge and that he knew nothing about its radical plan, including a prominent component, a complete deregulation of New Hampshire's health insurance industry. And minutes after finishing the debate, he tried again to hide from his pledge, telling a Concord area radio station that he never signed the pledge and that he, quote, hadn't seen anything from Cornerstone that I have read, end quote. This must come as news to Cornerstone, which lists him as the first signer of their pledge. So 